Watch this, Lise. And now. Okay, so we're going to talk about The Simpsons video games. Starting off with The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutants on the NES. Okay, well, the good thing is at least it has a theme song. So basically, the story goes, you're trying to stop these space mutants from taking over Springfield and the world. The first part of the game, it shows the space mutants using some kind of machine and weapon to turn everything purple. Alright, so now let's get to the game. Here we go. So basically, the story and model is, you're trying to stop the aliens from turning everything purple. And it says right here, find the purple objects. Separate or get rid of them. Any way you can. Okay. And who the hell's telling me this? Someone unknown? Hi, okay, so now we're playing the game. What the fuck? What happened to Bart's shorts? How come they're purple? Are you fucking kidding me? They didn't get his shorts right? Or did the aliens just zap his shorts and make it purple? Okay, let me say this about the graphics in the game. Well, I would say the graphics aren't too bad at all. I have to admit, too, Bart does look pretty good. Okay, another thing I don't understand is why couldn't they put any other music in the first level? They had to play the theme song over and over again? What the fuck? Let's look at the gameplay. Well, he moves pretty quick. The jumping's okay. Somewhat. Whoa, what the fuck? He just jumped high when he jumps on a garbage can on the bottom left of your screen you'll see a head with the picture of a Simpson it looks like Maggie and then you see two Bart heads which is your life and in the middle of your screen you see it says coin 10 I guess that's how many coins I have and then on the bottom middle of your screen, you'll see it says time, score, etc. And in the right bottom of your screen, you'll see it says a symbol of a coin, which tells you what item you have selected. Okay, now one of the other things you'll notice is when you go to your inventory screen and you switch to the glasses. What the fuck? The screen turns orange. Oh yeah, that's to let you know it's uh, night vision. Really? Of course the aliens hurt you. And you only have two lives on this game, which really sucks. Oh, I just jump on this window and I get the spray can. Get the fucking spray can. What the fuck? Hey, Bart. Come on, get the fucking spray can. Just jump and get it. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? He can't jump to get a damn spray can? What the fuck? Keep jumping. Jumping, fuck. Oh, yes, he finally got the spray can. What the fuck? It turns the image from purple to red. So I guess I gotta spray everything that's purple and turn it red. I guess. Just like it shows on the box or the cartridge of the game. Shows him with a spray can. There you go. Makes sense, right? Okay. Let me try something. What happens if I take a spray can that's a paint spray can and spray my wall will it make it red let's see here we go damn it's pretty dark in here well there you go okay so we can get to your inventory and you switch to the glasses it turns the whole entire scene of the screen on the level orange and Bart becomes dark. I guess it's supposed to be like x-ray vision I guess. Anyway the other thing I noticed too is when you do that you can tell which human is an alien which one is it. So you put the glasses on when you select that item then you can tell which human is an alien. Watch. There you go. Another thing I find very strange is who the hell would know this? You gotta go up on a clothesline, walk all over these clothes, and knock them down over those purple items? Who the hell would have known that? 
So what's with this killer bee? What the fuck? The thing that sucks is they don't give them many lives in this damn fucking game. The other thing is, when you die, Bart says this word. Eat my shorts? What the fuck? Yeah, eat my shorts! What's also dumb in the game is once you die, you start all the way at the beginning. What the fuck? Well, it shows on the bottom left of your screen with Maggie with her moving her mouth, sucking a pacifier. Which I think is pretty interesting. Another thing you'll notice is when you're doing the right thing for the mission, you see the letters beginning to spell Maggie Simpson's name. Also, you can use coins to buy special items like rockets and whistles, etc. Even a wrench. The other thing I noticed too with the rocket is it's used for certain targets to turn purple to red that the spray can can't touch. What the fuck? A bee just got me. Another thing I do like is when you can use the coins to also call them out. Just like on the show. When they put the funny humor of Mo in the game, with Bart calling him, that is awesome. Another thing to know in X-ray mode, when you jump on an alien's head, it gives you some kind of coin, I guess. And all of a sudden, it also spells Maggie's name. For every coin you collect. Then you can use the coins to buy certain items, not just talk them up. Alright, here we go. I turn the fire extinguisher, purple to red, and the flower pot with the spray can. I use the wrench on the fire extinguisher, and it turns the purple sunshade into red. Okay, I guess that makes sense because I turned the fire extinguisher red. So I guess it has power to turn things that are purple to red. Alright, this is interesting part two on this part of the level. Actually, what I find very interesting about this other part, oh, got a lot extra life, I guess. Buy more items, of course. Not many that I use pretty much, but yeah. It's important to buy all these items because they're very useful when you're gonna need them later. Okay, I kick, I throw a ball right up to the paint can and it makes the purple sunshade red instead of purple. Of course the paint can was purple which became red when I got hit by the red ball. Interesting, I throw a red cherry bomb and it what? Makes the parrot fly away? Where the fuck did he fly to? And how the fuck did a bomb basically make a parrot fly away when it's freaking in the store and I'm outside? You would think it should blow up or a glass should shatter, but no. It just flies away. Okay, my question is where the hell is the bird gonna fly if it's in a fucking pet store? I mean, is there a hole inside the ceiling and it just flies back up to the spaceship? What the fuck? The thing I don't understand on here is this. Okay, I get you. You can't go on the grass, but what the fuck is this shit? I mean, yeah, I get it. When the cop is purple, he's an alien, but what the fuck? Why is it all of a sudden he goes mad when you turn red? What the fuck? Then, of course, you use the rocket to shoot the bird off the damn statue. What the fuck? And the statue talks to you. Oh, yeah. Just like on the cartoon when Bart cuts off the statue's head of Jebediah Springfield. I yeah, you're not and he talks to Bart. I think you're okay, another thing I think is interesting is when you ride the skateboard, that's fucking awesome. And I get this point, you gotta jump over dogs, but what the fuck? How many dogs do I gotta jump over? Are we adding the number total of dogs I gotta jump over? It's eight. Yep, fuck. Then you gotta dodge the aliens, yeah. At least when you slow down, it's easier to dodge them. Okay, now I gotta outrun a skater on another skateboard. And I gotta dodge all these alien heads at the same time. Are you fucking kidding me? This is another thing I don't understand. Okay, I get I need a key to open up a door, but why the fuck <clears throat> am I gonna go inside a retirement home and warp back to the beginning where Moe's Tavern is at? What the fuck? Did I just go through some kind of 
fifth dimension or something? What the fuck is this shit? Okay, now I'm back at where I started from. And I'm at the movie theater. Okay, what the hell am I doing here? Jumping around. What the fuck do I do? Okay, I'm supposed to just dance around, look like a fucking idiot. Finally, the kid wearing purple puffs like spring turns red, looks like he's fucking trying to go after me like he's mad. I get to the first boss. Okay, who the fuck is that? Oh yeah, that's gotta be Nelson. But why is he wearing a white shirt? What the fuck? And he's wearing blue shorts? I guess that makes sense. He does wear blue shorts in the cartoon. Kids, everything above the board here? Okay, so now when he gets to the second level, you look at the space mutants. And now they are after hats. Eat my short. Okay, what kind of bullshit is this? Before we went from them turning everything purple. And now you gotta stop them from taking all the hats. Okay, does this fucking make any sense? I don't think so. And what the hell is this? Killer donuts from outer space. And what the hell is that? Frickin' marshmallows or is that ice? Okay, what's next? Bowling balls? Oh, actually it's candy canes. Yeah, giant candy canes that kill you just like the giant donuts that kill you. What else can't kill you in this game? Everything. And who the hell is this person with the blue hair? Oh yeah, I guess that must be the babysitter bandit. Okay, when he gets to the circus level, when he gets to the boss, he's no other than Sideshow Bob. And you gotta step on his foot, I guess? Kinda of like when Bart took a hammer and hit Sideshow Bob's foot. Fuck you, lousy, stupid, clumsy! Alright, so let's get to Bart versus the Space Mutants for Sega Genesis. Okay, so now the music, it's okay. But I still prefer the Simpsons music over this any day. And then the one thing I notice is that the music repeats itself over and over again. It's even worse than just hearing the Simpsons song for the NES. Although the graphics, they're pretty good on this game. I mean, look at the animation sequences, they're awesome. And the other thing I noticed is that the gameplay is pretty much the same. Um, Plots aren't the same like the NES. Although, I will say this game ain't too bad, but I still prefer the NES. Okay, so let's get on to another title The Simpsons Bart vs. the World. Alright, so let's get to Bart vs. the World for the NES. Well, I would say it's pretty much the same as Bart vs. the Space Moons, except now you're versing the world. Well, who are you versing? Krusty, when he pops up on television and says something about a contest and Bart was selected as one of the winners in the contest. Okay. And I guess the one you're versing is the Burns family. What, does Burns have a dynasty around the world? I mean, really? <laughs> so let's get to the gameplay, shall we? Of course, when you get to the map, it shows where you can choose certain things, like the ship. And here we go, here's the ship. Okay, so the gameplay is pretty much the same. You have more in your life bar. You actually have one, two, three, four, five blue balls, I guess. That represents your life bar. But see, now the question is, why couldn't they put them in the Space Mutants? You only have two life bars, which is Bart's head. That's fuck ridiculous. And the jumping's fucking ridiculous. I still can't jump to save my life on this game. At least you get to, sh you get to have a way to shoot balls at your enemies. Yeah. But you still gotta collect the red balls in order to get more ammo. And what the fuck is this shit? A damn seagull shits on my head? 
Oh, watch out for those fireworks. Oh fuck, you just land on the water. What the fuck? It's crazy how the world wants to kill you. I guess Burns pays these people to kill Bart Simpson. But the other thing I noticed too is the music is actually different in each level, which is awesome. But I still like Bart vs. Space Mutants better than this. Um, so now I choose the Great Wall, I guess. I'm riding a skateboard, trying to outrace a dragon. Oh, and you gotta go down this frickin' ramp all the way down and not hit these potholes in the middle. It stops you and you lose life. What the fuck? I'm trying to get these crusty faces is a, is a bunch of bullshit. And I keep going and going and all of a sudden I don't know what I'm doing. The other thing I hate is when I get caught with the fucking wall. Yeah, I hate that. A fucking wall makes you jump back. What the fuck? I can't even get through the damn door. See, look at this shit. I still made it to the fucking door. Alright, so now let's get to another title. Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly. Here we go. For Game Boy. Look, when you start off the game, it shows a counselor named... Iron Fist Burns. Okay, so now let's get to the gameplay. Well, the graphics aren't bad actually. Jumping's pretty good. Gameplay's pretty alright. And a lot of the people in the camp. I don't know who the hell that person is. He must be part of the camp counselors. I have no idea. Um, anyway, I'm sh Wait a minute. Where am I? I'm throwing a boomerang at him. The music's nice too, actually. What the fuck? And they just go flying off the screen. Are you fucking kidding me? Of course, when you die, um, he says a very interesting sound. And here it is. Oh, gotta watch for those bees. One thing I do like is you don't start all the way at the beginning. That's one great thing about this game. Another thing you'll notice, you can shoot out bubbles and boomerangs. Well, I guess at least you have two weapons to fight with. And these bees are fucking killers, man. Shit, can't even kill them anyway. Fuck this game. Game over my ass, this game sucks. Okay, moving on to another title for the NES. The Simpsons. Bart Man meets Radioactive Man. Let's see how this shit's gonna turn out. Well, the gameplay looks similar to Bart vs. the World, except you're Bart Man helping Radioactive Man. Okay, but what the fuck is this? Why can't Bart fucking fly like Radioactive Man? Well, at least he can shoot blazers out of his eyes. But well, what the fuck is Reactive Man doing? He's not doing shit. I'm doing all the work. What kind of bullshit is this? This game fucking sucks. I'm going to another title. Alright, here we go. Fuck this game. This game fucking sucks. Alright, that's all I have to say. I will say one thing. The Simpsons Arcade is actually pretty awesome. I like the graphics. It has good gameplay. And the music is just awesome. Anyway, get on to another title. Okay, time to get on to Krusty's Funhouse for the NES. Here we go. Another thing, why is Krusty's shirt white? Do these people watch the show at least? Hey, okay, what the fuck is this? Why does Krusty look all small and shit? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I don't mind being a clown, but this game is a freaking clown show. What the fuck is this shit? So you gotta get all these rats and put them in the machine, I guess. I wonder what Krusty would say about this damn fucking game. What the hell was that? Okay, moving on to another title. The Simpsons, Bart, and the Beanstalk for Game Boy. And you notice for all these Simpsons games, for these systems and handhelds, they're made by Acclaim. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. I'll say this, even for the graphics on Game Boy, it's not too bad at all. The one thing that kind of does suck is the jumping. It's 
pretty slow. And the way he moves, it's kind of a little bit slow. And the music, it's alright. The one thing I also like is the light bar looks like it's a little longer. So they give you more um, life to go with. And of course, when you shoot the slingshot, it's not too bad either. Although it shoots pretty slow as well. This game's okay, I would say. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so now we're getting on to another title. The Simpsons, Bart vs. the Juggernauts. Okay, and my other question is... Why does it sound like it's something off Karate Kid? Well, I guess it involves fighting, so I guess that makes sense. Let's see how the gameplay looks pretty much from this point on. Well, I will say this. I'm not very impressed by the gameplay. Or it's okay, but what the fuck? Why am I riding a skateboard all the way down a ramp? And then I jump off the skateboard onto a platform and kick someone off of it. Okay, what the fuck is this shit? Well, let's move on to another game, because this game sucks. Okay, we get on to a game for the Sega Genesis called Virtual Bart. Here we go. I like on the intro title it says Virtual Bart, but it has Homer's voice in the background, which I find amazing. Now, the one thing I like about this game is the graphics are amazing. I mean, they look really good. This is the part that was interesting. It shows Bart in a virtual reality simulator machine. And he's wearing like some kind of helmet symbolizing the virtual sequence. Now, the one thing I noticed too about this game is the gameplay is fucking ridiculous. Yes, it's hard like hell, but it's a good game. I mean, just like this part of the level that you're playing, it shows Bart on a motorcycle. And that's awesome, I mean, really. It makes it look really fun. The only problem is it's fucking hard and ridiculous. I mean, yeah, Bart's a badass dude, but... The other thing that's really uh, ridiculous about this is, where's the fucking music? That's another thing I don't understand. How could you put no music in this fucking level? What the hell is wrong with the people who made the game? Now, so, uh, this level itself is very good. The graphics are amazing. But how could you not put music on this fucking level? Anyway, getting to the bus part with Otto, this part's a pain in the ass, because he just runs you over and flattens you into a damn pancake, and there you go. Now, like I said, the cutscenes are really good. I mean, really, they did a great job on the cutscenes, the graphics are amazing. It's the gameplay that's fucking hard. I just hit Homer in the back of his feet. What the fuck? Why not? Why the hell do I keep going the wrong way? Oh yeah, gotta go this way. And then one of the other things I hate about this level is, at least you have the music. The game plays a little bit easier on this one. But the problem is, if, is if you go down the wrong slide, this is what happens. On one of them. What the fuck? I hit a brick wall? What kind of bullshit is this? Okay, on to the next level here. Okay, so now you're Bart throwing tomatoes at your classmate. And whoever's in the background, including you get Principal Skinner, the whole thing is up. Now one thing to know is you're going to have a certain amount of tomatoes that you can use in the game. Once you use up all your ammo without getting everyone, you're fucked. Of course, when you're Bart the Pig, this level's fucking hard too, but at least it gives you more room to run around. Oh fuck, just turn into a piece of ham. Shit. Of course, I like this one cutscene with Homer. Meets the corn dogs. 
And then he finds out Bart's head's on there and he freaks out. Now the one thing when you get to the dinosaur level and Bart as a dinosaur, the one thing you gotta look at is your life bar right there is on the top left of your screen. And it shows a round circle. I like how it shows the animation sequences when you know your life is low. That's how you can tell your life is not really doing well. The other thing I do like about this understanding of this level is Bart's tail can be used as a weapon. Sometimes it's actually really good. It takes on enemies pretty well. Like some dinosaurs. But then there's also another thing I noticed with this game is, oh yeah, the popsicles fill up your life. Remember that one. So every time you play this game, popsicles fill your life. Okay, what the fuck? A triceratops, okay, and what the hell's a tail supposed to do? What the fuck? This thing sucks. Oh, look at this shit. The fucking thing doesn't even die. What the hell's it going through like a damn glitch? You keep hitting me, but I still can't kill it. Yeah, I think this game's a fucking glitch. Okay, and the other thing is so fucking stupid is trying to jump up on all these platforms and the fucking boulder just goes on you and it takes pretty much half your fucking life. What the fuck? Okay, I'm done with this shit. You know what? Fuck this. Take, I'm gonna keep jumping here and jump here. Alright, we're gonna fucking make this shit. Oh, fuck. Come on! Jump on the fucking platform! And of course, Bart is a baby. It's actually pretty cool. But anyway, moving on to the next game. Okay, so now we're getting to another game for the Game Boy Color. Which is The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Even the music's pretty good. Now let's get to the gameplay. Here we go. Now the one thing you'll notice is... For the gameplay... It's not bad for Game Boy Color. I mean, the graphics are stunning, even for Game Boy Color. Of course, the animation sequence, it's a little bit slow. Kind of like Bart and the Beanstalk. But the color looks exactly like it should. And that looks just like Bart when it comes to the color of his clothes. I mean, even for Game Boy Color, this is awesome. Even Maggie as a fly. Pretty interesting. And what I think is awesome is Marge, you know, killing zombies with her so-called blaster is fucking awesome. Anyway, it kind of reminds me of watching one of the Simpsons Halloween specials with the zombies running amok all over Springfield. I'll never forget that one. Oh, the zombies. No. Okay, so let's talk about The Simpsons. Bart's Nightmare for the Super Nintendo. Here we go. Although I like how it has the sound effects in the background with Bart running and it plays a Simpsons song. And it shows the Simpsons title on the screen with the theme song. It's awesome. The moral of the story is, Bart is dreaming and he's like in his nightmare world. You're trying to collect all these papers. And you choose whatever door you want. They give you two choices. I guess a blue one. So here we go. Now you're on the level where Bart is actually having a nightmare of himself trying to prevent a. looks like a nuclear attack or something. I don't know. But I have to admit, the graphics are awesome, and I'm glad he's flying on her. Finally, he's flying. Why didn't he fly on Bart meets Radioactive Man? Here he flies. Why couldn't he fly on the other game? Then again, this game is awesome. The graphics are just really awesome. The gameplay is pretty much similar to Virtual Bart. And the music is awesome on this level. I, I like the music here. And of course you got your bosses and everything, but even they're not that hard on here, which is interesting. And of course your life bar is pretty much the same as Virtual Bart. There you go. And you got this one level, it seems like Jaws, but you're actually fighting germs. 
I guess in Bart's body. So you're wearing like diving gear and you have this so-called pumper to pump up the germs and make them very much pop like balloons. Yeah, pop like balloons. There you go. I have to admit, the music they choose for for these levels, they suit them pretty well. Especially this one where you're fighting itchy and scratchy in Bart's house. Oh, that's really a nightmare. Being in a cartoon with another cartoon. So here we go. I also like this one, the A.M. Jones getup. And it shows Bart as Indiana Bart. But my question is, where is the damn music? You gotta be kidding me, they forgot the music in this level? But then again, it's very good. As in graphic effects. It's just like when you're playing as Bartzilla. I mean, what the fuck? They forgot the music on this one too? Yep, sure did. But the graphics are awesome. I mean, it kind of reminds me of an old Godzilla movie. There you go. Alright, so now we go on to Itchy and Scratchy, the game. I always wonder what it would be like to be in a cartoon for a video game. This is your thing. The only thing that sucks about this one is you can't pick two characters. You only pick one. Is it two players or one? Actually, you can only pick the mouse, but not the cat. And yet they use kind of like a Flintstones theme song in here a little bit. It's like a mix, but you can tell it's pretty much the Flintstones almost. Other than the game play is good. The graphics are very good. Amazing. But other than this game, can make you just get so bored very easily. Anyway, moving on to another game. Gotta get that little cat. There you go. Alright, so let's get to one of these new games. That was for the GameCube and the PS2. And I believe Xbox and the 360. Okay, this game... I would say it's okay, but uh, what's your objective? What's the story of that? I mean, oh, you're just driving around in a car, running things over and hitting things? I mean, really? What kind of garbage is this? I mean, yeah, the car went flying right there in the air. That must have been a glitch. But then again, this game looks like it's a copy of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Yeah, it sort of reminds me of it. also reminds me of another game, Crazy Taxi. Yep, never forget those games. And this is what you call The Simpsons Hit and Run. More like Boring and Run. Alright, on to another game. The Simpsons Wrestling. You know what? This is really just garbage, man. And you know what, I know this is for the PS1, but still, wouldn't you think they would make this a little better? I mean, what the hell is this shit? Kinda reminds you of playing Smackdown for the PS1. Yeah, that's what it reminds me, and that game freaking sucked worse than this. Now when it comes to the Simpsons video game, I think this is one of the best Simpsons video games for any game console. Now I would say one of the worst ones was The Simpsons Wrestling. Yeah. And I think Bart knows what to do about that game. Take it away, Bart.